Hello everybody, Mr. Harry here with the YouTube channel about how to get new sounds from your guitar using objects. Today we're gonna talk about balls. Plastic or rubber bouncing balls are very good for the sound of your guitar and I'll show you how. First, let's take a beater like this one this is a, a beater for uh, percussions for gongs it has a little plastic ball on the top of it which has a very soft but percussive sound and it sounds like this when you uh, use it just like beating on the strings I prefer beating here on the bridge because if you beat here, the the string is too um, is uh, there's not enough tension on the string. It's better to do it here, and it sounds like this. Okay, you can also uh, play two strings at once like for example what i did the modification i did to this uh, beater is uh, well first of all i broke the ball here and i put hot glue on it and it works fine but on the other side I put a bigger ball made of a different material which is thicker and I uh, drilled a hole inside the ball I took a ball uh, like this one I drilled a hole inside of it put the stick into the ball and then put some glue and it works very nice and it has this sound it is way bigger and also heavier as you heard you can hear it slapping the string it's not very good to use this with percussion i used to use I, I i'd better use this side for percussive sounds but what i i like the other the bigger ball for another kind of sound which is this one Simply you rub it against the strings and uh, yeah it kind of is a strange sound I like it a lot but there are other ways uh, to use this uh, to use the balls um, in this way and the first way I found out was to take a ball like uh, yeah like this one okay drill a hole this is a this is a ball with an attached elastic it's a, a toy a toy for for kids the advantage is that it already has a hole inside so you don't have to drill a hole you just need to make it larger once you got your larger hole you put a, a thicker elastic you just put it inside the ball you don't even need uh, glue okay what I did is to put it here on the this sucker on this plastic sucker 
and then I put it here on the body of the guitar and I'm ready to go. This is cool because I always have my ball here whenever I need it and I don't have to um, uh, use a lot of time to get another preparation during the songs and this is very cool but you get you gotta get used to, to this uh, bouncing movement that it does and it's not very simple to control so I just took a metal tie for cables like this we already saw metal ties for other kind of sound and then I drilled a hole inside the ball like this one and I put the metal cable the metal tie inside of it I just put glue on it and then it is more controllable because it bounces a lot but it reacts to your uh, to the movement of your hand of your hands so you can have lots of dynamics for example Okay, but this material of this, there are different materials for balls. I found out that the more another another kind of rubber works better for me, and with a longer cable tie, it's better, and it sounds like this. Well, now I will show you how I use this ball with this metal cable tie in my songs. And that's all for today. See you next time.